are certain you remember nothing of this place. Oh, nothing that would help us. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? I do not know. Oh, that's comforting. Look, I know you expect more from the smartest man alive, but Odin always kept me in the dark about this place. Which is why I urged you to seek Freya's guidance. Repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Well, quite the opposite, brother. But you tell yourself whatever you need to. See a shore ahead. Black sand. Exactly as described in the invitation. We finally bloody made it. Back to basics, then. Well, that felt unsettling, like we've plunged into a dream. Doesn't seem anyone's here to welcome us. Locked. I don't suppose you'll take that as our cue to turn around and leave? Reatha Siel for Sinum Hautum. To be one's own master. Master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. So 
something is wrong. I feel weaker. Valhalla may not appreciate our breaking in. I expected to encounter here. Curious. <laughs> Seems it's the way of this place to offer you a choice. At least you're not going in completely hobbled. Ah! 
Perhaps the last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it, though. At least this part seems peaceful. We should have a look around. You truly believe Freya would have aided us in this? Aided us? Talk sense into you? Win-win either way, really. I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoiding her. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid her. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I am avoiding. I value Freya. Well, that I believe. I'm nice to hear you admit, frankly. I think she values you as well, in her way. She finds me useful. It is not the same. Is that really what you think? I do not believe she understands what she asks of me. <laughs> Not permitted that way, it seems, and no way to pry it open. Back outside. 
You marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, milady. It was a personal matter. That would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past, face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh. Don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. With his bare hands. <sighs> he forced it open. There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come. Sigrun, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation then? For once, Mimir, I think you've said enough. Ah, right then. And the other matter we discussed? You're still... thinking, I take it? I am. Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think, then. properly prepared this time. First, Valhalla requires you to perform the Ritual of Selection. Brother, a new way to bargain with Valhalla itself! been easier to be better.
my sister speak to you of Valhalla's rules and its values? What do you know of this place? The challenge of Valhalla is not merely about overcoming obstacles. It's about the way you overcome them, how you demonstrate mastery of your own powers. We can guide you down a path, but Valhalla will be the judge of your progress. Return to me when you've met a goal, and we will observe the effects. What have you to say? Valhalla seeks to foster wholeness and balance within those who enter. To fully master yourself, you can't rely on only your most familiar tactics. I use the tactics appropriate to the situation. Of course. But varying your approach will demonstrate to Valhalla the full mastery of your abilities. And Valhalla will reward such demonstrations. Be sure to come back and see me as you progress. Step up to the gate when you're ready to proceed. And we can begin the ceremony. I am ready. Air, Gunnar, with me. Now you can enter Valhalla by this gate, without suffering the penalty of breaching. Thank you, Sigrun. Any cursed feeling this time? No. All is well. Thank you, Shield Maidens. All right, let's try this whole thing again. New attempt, new choices to make. A fresh start. between you and Sigrun. Did you anger her? I wouldn't say she's angry with me. Irritated, perhaps. Disappointed, certainly. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself, brother. I won't let it distract from whatever it is we're doing.
So, this is no piece of Asgard at all. Just something spun from your memory of it. Fascinating. Brother, I must admit, Freya's idea does make quite a bit of sense to me. What better god of war could the realms ask for than the general who won Ragnarok and won it trying to save lives? With you on board, our whole peacekeeping council could really do some good. This position, this title, I have held it before. You know what happened. She knows what happened. Of course we do. But why should who you used to be matter more than who you are now? Can't you see how far you have come? However far I have come, I have done it running from that life, that title, that throne. Aye. <laughs> I suppose this is about how you remember Jotunheim, eh? I do agree with you about Freya's counsel. It is a noble idea. It should succeed on her merits. How's that, brother? Freya is known to the realms and native to them, respected by all. An experienced leader. Experienced enough to know that a shared power is best for the people. That she would share power proves she is worthy to wield it. Even so, why make her wield it alone? Without Odin, the realms have a chance to forge a new peace. When conflicts do arise and can't be talked through, a god of war ensures those conflicts have rules and enforces them. They need might and judgment and credibility across the realms. Who else would she pick, brother?
This must be how you remember Sparklefine. Freya knows I would not refuse to aid her when in need. I have done and will do my part to fight for peace, regardless of title, regardless of whether I sit in authority. You know as well as I do there's power in once. Oaths. The people need to know you're committed to them and to yourself. That you'll be there for them, and I know that you will. I understand you've got misgivings, man, but you've put your past behind you. We all see it. You do not know everything that I am. That you were. You've told me of your past, and yes, much of it was horrible. But you've proven over and over again that you're not that man anymore. Seems there's a way at hand to bargain with Valhalla directly.
Shabby. I think you'll get even further next time. The resilient warrior dances with change, easily adjusting to its rhythm. Between you and me, there's nothing wrong with enjoying the fight. Best improve where you can. Valhalla's not big on apples or blood mead. A durable improvement! Quite nicely, General. It's a pleasure to see your progress. Where is Freya? Away for the moment. As you know, she's attending to many things presently. Establishing a new governing body for the realms is no simple task. There are leaders to find and recruit, negotiations for sharing power, I'm sure she'd prefer to be here, but you'll have to make do with the three of us for now. I'm sure we're in excellent hands.
If there's an upside to this Valhalla madness, it's good to see you in action again. You're already more your cheery self than I've seen in moons. Without Atreus or a fight in front of you, I wonder after your well-being. Combat can be clarifying. One thing though, brother, when you said Freya didn't value you the way you value her, that came surprisingly close to resembling the language of unrequited love. You know better. I do. An impossible pairing for any number of reasons. Just the same, it's obvious to any observer that you two care deeply about each other. Mm. She is an important ally and a dear friend. Disappointing her is difficult. She asks of me, I... Makes you think she only finds you useful. I see. Well, I can't speak for her, of course. But if our adventures have taught me anything, it's that our connections are what matter most. So, forgive me for hoping you'll work it out. Incoming! 
That is the path we seek. A way up and forward. Valhalla's inner reaches. I can feel it.
not forgotten the debt I owe you. Do you really think you understand this? This still feels reckless. Here they are now. That's odd. We're back outside, but we didn't... you know. Sometimes you reach as far as you're ready to go. Valhalla's decision, or yours? Hmm. Does this mean you're done in there? No. I will discover who invited me. I believe I am close. You're sure it's worth dying for? Oh, I think we're fairly accustomed to dying at this point. Don't be glib, Mimir. Valhalla restores you after honorable death in combat, but beyond that, it makes its own rules, and if you don't play by them... Kratos, the threat of death in there is real. That is... good to know. If by good, you mean wildly disconcerting. I do wish you luck. Truly. Let's see. Do these tasks, return here for rewards. Fair enough. Every battle is an opportunity, right, General? Better yourself if and when you can, I always say.
Look, brother, the fog's lifted. Valhalla's becoming more open to you, perhaps. So much to see in the distance there. You can see how all the little realm spaces connect to the higher plane. And those statues are certainly imposing. I recognize them. They are judges of the underworld. From my homeland. Ah, well, you sound thrilled to see them again. Souls they deemed righteous were granted entrance to the Elysium Fields. Those deemed wicked were cast into Tartarus. Ah, yes, where the souls of the damned were tortured. Why has your mind manifested them here, I wonder? is locked until we meet Valhalla's demands.
Guard in memoriam. Ah, I'm starting to see there's no fixed order to the realms we'll visit here. Brother, whose voice was that we heard when Valhalla sent us back from the throne? You heard it also. Aye. Said he owes you a debt, was it? Someone who might lend us a hand, perhaps? Unlikely. He was a god of Greece, and we did not part on good terms. And by that you mean... Yes, I see. No shortage of bitter old ghosts in these parts. These parts being your memory, of course. <laughs> Even a short-term advantage could pay off. Brother, that throne we saw, did you recognize it? Was it familiar? It was mine. The throne I took from Ares. It is a throne of monsters. Ah, the anxiety of power made manifest. A symbol you're no doubt meant to consider. It is a symbol I reject. That might not quite close the book on matters. 
A symbol can't be slain, destroyed, or ignored. The best measure is often to reclaim it, redefine it. Remind us it's not the throne, but the god who sits in it. <sighs> Fights in a row now. Well, how are the man for this? Ah! <laughs> 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 
Nicely done. Now then, the path should be unlocked. Let's make our way up. A little boost this time around, maybe? So, we gotta beat that one and still have strength enough to go further? All right, we can do that. Change those who adapt a triumph. Are the little falter? Where legends are made, these could made. really help you in there. <laughs> the elite enemies Valhalla has chosen for you to target will only continue to manifest. You must adapt and employ all available resources, or you will fall again.
Remember, Kratos, the deeper into Valhalla you venture, the greater the danger. And I don't just mean physically. I understand. Yes, we'll try not to go mad. Why don't we talk about that image of you in the shrine we keep seeing? If Valhalla keeps pulling it out of your head, it must have some significance to you. Could it be that the idea of being loved and respected is a fair might better than the alternative? Now hear me out, and it's not as though I'm the smartest man alive or anything. Don't you think joining Freya's council could put you in a position to walk that path? To earn that path? That would be a poor reason to accept. Ambition is poison. A little edge for this attempt, perhaps.
Back to that image of you on the screen. I'll grant you ambition can be a poisonous motive, but your ambitions are only to help people, not for your own glory, right? Make the world a better, safer place. I think maybe that image of you is symbolic of your desire to walk a righteous path. Valhalla's little signpost. You are sure accepting Freya's offer is the right thing for me? Or for the realms? I think we are here to make sure about that, one way or the other. Ah! <laughs> 
Challengers like it to find. That is how we earn our way forward. Should be free to move up to the next area now. <laughs> Hard not to take Valhalla up on some help, even if it's just for this attempt. Sorry, brother. That dauber was especially challenging. Keep on. Say you can't buy self improvement. And 
That benefit's good to last. Don't let Valhalla's chosen opponents get into your head, or else you'll fall to them again. I must admit, Seeker, Valhalla isn't exactly what I imagined. You're experiencing only a very small part of it. One that's independent and unconnected from the rest of Valhalla. Elsewhere, there are larger neighborhoods where the dead reside. Socializing, playing games, drinking, fighting. But one must earn the right to join their fallen comrades. New arrivals run a gauntlet. A personalized, self-contained version of what you're doing. It's meant to help the dead process the lives they lived. Those who are worthy, who have found some measure of closure, are allowed to move forward. Those who are unable to resolve their lives are forever trapped in their personal Valhalla. Some just... I wouldn't say no to some short-time help. She was eager to receive you mere days ago. What has changed? Oh, don't pretend to be interested in my romantic life, brother. I am interested, and you are evading the question. What happened? Well, after you dropped me off at a longhouse the other night, Sigrun made a cowberry and hazelnut pudding. Of course, I don't eat anymore, so slightly awkward, but a lovely thought. 
bad. Pretty much it, really. Hmm. There is more to this. <laughs> Stayed up much too late. I told her stories, she told me secrets. She put spirits to my lips, even though I can't get drunk. Then she invited me to watch her fall asleep. And the next morning? The next morning we took a boat along the Lake of Nine. It was divine, brother. The lake was sun-dappled, and the air was crisp and perfect. You could smell the thaw. When did you misspeak? You know me too well, brother. We were on the lake when I put my metaphorical foot in it. Grand. We should be free to move up to the next area now. It may be just for this try, but a little assist would be nice.
Congratulations, old friend. You really are going places in Valhalla. Where's Mumir? Is that really all you have to say to me? After all this time? Can't muster up so much as hello for one of your most auspicious victims? Hello, Helios. Where is Mumir? How should I know? Why don't we go look for him? Hmm. So, what's new with you, Kratos? Murdered any good pantheons lately? Devastated any populations with the cataclysmic consequences of your actions? Turned on any once trusted allies? You simply must bring me up to speed on your latest saga of blood-soaked vengeance. I am that no longer. You don't mean to say you've gone soft. Never believe it. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. No, there's no fooling me, Kratos. You know what they say. You can't hide in the shadows from a sun god. At least, that's what they should say. a little more familiar, isn't it? A mighty chain. Auspicious sign. You've always had such luck with chains. This is all gonna work out just great for you. I can feel it.
Now this room must really take you back. Wasn't this the Chamber of Sacrifice? Where you let an Athenian soldier burn to a crisp, just so you could get past the room? Oh, those madcap early days. How you must miss them. What are you doing, Kratos? You mean to sacrifice me? Again? Seems you'll need to push me along to get anywhere. Oh, good. You're making eye contact as you push me towards my demise. What a special little personal touch. Really lets me know where I stand. Especially after such a long, agonized deliberation over what to do. Oh, how reluctant you'll tell people you were to sacrifice me to the flame! I hate to disappoint you, you blithering idiot. But you do remember I'm a sun god, right? You think I'm afraid of a little fire? Don't threaten me with a good time, Kratos. Maybe I'll be infused with power and achieve my final form. Maybe I'll explode and take you with me. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see. for another push. Let's go! Okay, seriously, Kratos, get me out of this cage. It's not funny anymore. I can't believe you mean to roast me on a whim, on a presumption that it's what Valhalla wants from you. Have you ever considered that maybe your instincts are just random thoughts that pop into your head, no more likely to be true than the next? Hmm? Maybe consider that. Quickly!
just going to incinerate me and see what happens? I swear, you haven't changed one solitary... Brother? What am I doing in here? Over here. Over here. Panic! We will simply return to the gate. I don't think so! I think you've broken how Valhalla works! Oh! I think this is it, brother! Let's get you out of here! Sigrun! Bob, you're burning! I'm not supposed to be here! Oh, Kari Shaito! Thing. Look at you. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, heal, dummy. You and Kratos would not. But you're safe now. Sigrun, I'm sorry. I've been so foolish. I... Later, love. <laughs> I need a moment. As I will be forever in yours. <clears throat> My lady! Stop. You've seen me worse. I'm not sure about that, boss. Hush. It's nothing air can't feel. <coughs> this could take some time. Go on, Kratos. Get back in there. And do what you need to do. <coughs> well, that was altogether bloody terrifying. One moment I'm in a forest, the next I'm in a cage full of fire. You changed into Helios, and back again. It was unpredictable. I'll say. I'm truly not sure if we've gone too far, or if we've come too far to stop. We are not stopping. I must face this. I know, brother. <laughs> Another of those spots for bargaining with Valhalla. No shame in making things a wee bit easier if you can.
memory of Vanaheim now. Brother, I beg you not to remember the exploding plants. What did you say about a forest? You remember being elsewhere when Helios took your place? Aye. Yes, I didn't mention that while we were plummeting, but yes, I was in a forest, much like that of my youth. Back on my old body, too. It was a bit dreamlike, to be honest. Hmm. Do you wish to return there? I can't say I don't. I'm concerned, but I'm more than curious. Guess my memories are fair game in here as well. Don't suppose they'll just stick to the pleasant ones, will they? Unlikely. use some limited time assistance, couldn't we? Something's lost, but something's gained here.
Come here. Tell me. What happened between you and Sidney on the lake? Well, she was rowing past where you found her family treasury. Where we learned she cursed her brother over forbidden love. That's right. And as we rowed by, I remember feeling grateful the place was now deep underwater where she couldn't see it. And at that moment, she turned to me and she said, I think, Mimia, I might be smitten with you. I think maybe I want to kiss you. Mm -hmm. Indeed, brother. I mean, there's always been more to us than there's been the opportunity to explore. There's so much unspoken beneath the surface. For her to name it so boldly, it took me a bit off guard. Sigrun, I am still waiting for the part where you spoke. In my defense, I only told her the truth as it struck me in the moment. I told her my feelings for her were deep as Rand's Hall and had been for as long as I'd known her. But just then a kind of revelation came over me. A sudden cold clarity that it was vanity to imagine that I, as I am, could be enough for her as she is. So I had myself tell her that I didn't think I could give her what she needed. Now, I am mad at you. Pile on, brother. I deserve it.
That's the one you needed. Should be free to move up to the next area now. We must keep the primordial realms up here on the top shelf. <laughs> We've come this far. Anything we need this moment. We're up by those statues now. Judges, did you say? Perhaps the higher planes of Valhalla correspond to the deepest reaches of your memory. Hello, me again. If I must carry you, make yourself useful. Say what you see in battle. Aye, aye, asshole. <laughs> Watching you think? What a thrill.
<laughs> they locked you out. Guess we better poke around the old neighborhood. See what sorts of acquaintances are looking to reconnect. This one looks easy. If easy is what you oh. want. You're such a mindless brute. Another of Valhalla's targets. Nifty. Tentacles? No to this. Watch your left. Only getting harder is you delay, Crate. Ugh! <laughs> 
I do believe that's all of it. The way up should be clear. Don't hurry up and make a decision on my account. Heading back to the cage, are we? I guess Valhalla is giving you a second chance. Time, Kratos. Wait, no, don't tell me. The suspense is honestly the only thing keeping me awake back here. Here's a random thought for you. Maybe it only counts as a sacrifice if you give up someone you value. I think we all know that's not me. Notice how you're leaping to argue the point. Cyclops! You'll never guess their weak spot!
Radar. Oh, where are we now? Tia. The invitation was yours. I would have signed it. But it was important you come here for your own reasons. Then you're not an illusion. You're in the flesh, old friend. What do you want? I know what you're wrestling with, Spartan. I understand it better than you realize. The shame. The doubt. The question. I could find no answer for until I came here. Lifetimes ago. Stepped through that door. What is in there? Oh. I'm not here to spoil that for you. Only to help you prepare. Why? Because I can. Because for us, fighting occupies the body while our minds work out the rest. Because you're not ready. Yet. Show me. Sorry. Why exactly are you attacking us? Consider it a kind of trial by combat, Namir. When Kratos can get the better of me, we'll know his mind has done the work. Defend yourself. Having fun yet? Well, catch you sleeping. Come on! Places a deficit upon his focus. He is impatient, emotional, easily surprised. A man at one with himself has a clearer mind, sharper instincts. That man is ready to win. That man is ready to progress. Well done, Kratos. 
I yield. Good then. Perhaps you are ready now. Am I? Honestly, nobody can truly say that but you. is a lifelong journey. No more destination. Take that to heart. Valhalla honors you. Gula. Excellent. No experience is wasted when you learn from it. Don't you agree? I hear you like stories. I got one for you. Go on. I wasn't born with the privilege of... I was just the daughter, matter of fact. I didn't have much go. If somebody was asked, brought a heap of trouble. Enough for now. I'll pick that up later. Uh. <laughs> Want to buy a slightly more hospitable environment?
We're all impressed by your progress, General. We've never seen anyone engage Valhalla quite the way you have. A memory of your past made manifest. Mm. A dangerous memory. Run. How fares your journey? We have uncovered our host. It is Tyr. Tyr, you say? Aye, and no projection either. I never knew his connection to Valhalla was so strong. But then, he goes back further than I do. Fascinating. Kratos, glad to see you're back inside. It seems Valhalla has arranged something special for you in the throne room. See you again soon, Kratos. Black flag! Remember this, Kratos. The memory is vivid. A familiar scene to any that know your legend. A man at the crossroads of a fateful decision. Aye, you've spoken of this, brother. The pact you made with Ares, to stave off the barbarian war. The day I sold my soul to a god of war. Why show me this? Well, if I had to guess, probably to make you feel like the piece of shit you are. Is he necessary? He's no part of my design. He's either Valhalla's or yours. <sighs> At least he hasn't replaced me again. Not yet, anyway. Seems a real charmer. Memory fragment of your time in Alfheim, then. Tell me, who was Kratos of Sparta the day you made your pledge to Ares? I was the youngest captain in the Spartan army. I had gained a reputation for my skills in combat, my command on the battlefield, but also my aggression. I was determined to never lose, and until then, never had. My men were loyal. 
Fiercely so. How many Spartans did you command? Not enough that day. How many barbarians did you face? Thousands. Prepare me to take your old position. Why not fulfill it yourself? You seem capable. To the mortals of these realms, I am an ancient myth, long out of mind. The days I could hope to unify these realms are long past. But they see you as the hero of Ragnarok. You are known and respected. And from what I have seen, you are the most qualified by far. You need only be ready.
join him. So, you told Sigrun you could not give her what she needed. You spoke out of cowardice. Aye, obviously. But as prospects for terror go, can you imagine knowing all along you're not enough for someone, and then living out their slow realization of that truth? I admit it chilled me to the bone. You presume to know how she will feel in the future. Why discredit her wishes and yours in the present? I just can't pretend not to know better. She's romanticized the idea of us. Certainly I've done the same. But is that anything to build a future on? I mean, look at me, brother. Be practical. If anyone else disparaged you as you disparaged yourself, I would wish to strike them with an axe. <laughs> Go! 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 Go!
Brilliant kill. Valhalla will be impressed. Excellent. The way should be clear. Up and onward. Something full of terrible memories, I hope. What do you think? I'm back! What a thrill! I must say, it's genuinely hard to think of anything stupider than pledging your soul to Ares of all people. I mean, any of Zeus's <gasps> brood are bound to be garbage, present company by no means excluding. But Ares made a real art out of being vicious and depraved. <laughs> Though, I suppose I can't begrudge you your role model. I see you still use the blades he gave you. Can you really say you regret a decision? And still keep benefiting from the trappings of that decision? I'm not sure, I'm just asking. You ever try to do the math on how many people died as a result of your little collaboration? Like contemplating the grains of sand on a beach, isn't it? Just overwhelming, honestly.
Looks like someone left you a party favor. Oh, and it's a symbolic totem of your shame. That's so thoughtful. Ah, now you've done it. You're being judged. And we all know your past actions wouldn't pass muster with anybody. Oh, I meant to ask, how did you like setting yourself on fire? Truly entertaining stuff. Sorry to miss how it ended up. I think maybe you still have some ash on your skin. Am I crazy? Siren? Cover my ears! Kratos! I 
to slay. <laughs> to see you again, Kratos. I brought something else to keep things interesting. You're not the only one with weapons from far off lands, you know. Ready? Heal! 
Why did you do it, Kratos? Why did you pledge yourself to Ares? I was ambitious. Proud. I could not accept defeat. I crave power. Is that all? Are you sure? Nothing more to that story? Nothing else under the surface? Blood for blood, ruin an attack of Olympian power. <laughs> I yield, Kratos. Very well. I believe you found an understanding within yourself. Shall we see? Pools. It's not only memories. Indeed. For what is a memory apart from our perspective on it? You know the evils that came of your path. You know the evils within yourself. Yes, these you dwell on. But it's not that simple, is it? The horde is vast, brother. What would have happened if you didn't stop it? Our lands would have been overrun. Our people killed, violated. People your army was sworn to protect. An army led by you. Did you not feel a duty to fulfill your purpose? Did you not fear for the safety of your homeland? You saved them. You would excuse my actions? Excusing them is not the exercise, Kratos. Only accepting them. Accepting that you acted based on what you knew then, not on what was to come. Your motivation and their consequences are far more complicated than you let yourself believe. Hmm. I think... Perhaps you have more to process. Yes. I have much to think about. I will return. And I will be waiting. Echoes in the halls. There's no mistaking it. So it's Tyr's game you're playing? This is all his idea? A game is not his purpose. There is something here I must see through. And what is that exactly? A process. <sighs> all right. If it's helping, I trust you both. We all do. As we trust in Valhalla. Even after what it did to you? I knew the rules and chose to break them. I regret nothing. Those who adapt are not bound by circumstance. We did more things and more things to do. Check.
Perfection may be unattainable, but imagine striving for anything. Hmm. A chance to bargain with Valhalla itself. investment Going back in, I take it this process is working for you somehow. Yes. Succeed or fail. I feel progress. Clarity. I need to see it through. Very good, brother.
An infamous act. One they still spoke of in the years of rebuilding. I somehow doubted they meant it so literally. I'll give you this, brother. Your technique has improved immeasurably. I needed his power to secure my vengeance against the gods. I believed I had no choice. No choice? You could have not ripped my head off my body. That was absolutely an option. And he's back. But that wasn't the worst of it, was it, Kratos? Killing you deprived Greece of the sun. They were plunged into perpetual cold and darkness. Crops ceased to grow. Famine descended on our homeland. Not that you came. Enough. He is better, isn't he? Kratos, I'm curious. Your decision to behead Helios, was it fueled by any personal motivations? Or was it really just a means to an end? It was not personal. I did know him long before I killed him. He was as insufferable as any god. But his death brought me no satisfaction. Did you know what would happen as a result? When Helios was captured by the God of Dreams, the lands fell into darkness and were not restored until his return. I knew exactly what would happen. Ah, seems you must endure a burden for a time to receive a greater reward. Are you tempted? Kratos, I hope you'll forgive me for overhearing. But before you first found your way to me, you were grappling with the symbolism of your former seat of power. May I offer a perspective? Nay. Before I became God of War, I felt as hesitant as you did. I feared that taking the throne would only validate Odin's power hierarchy, which even then I didn't trust. But I decided I could wield a better influence on the inside than on the outside. There are many ways to lead, and not all of them involve ruling. The throne and the office are only what you bring to them. Targets on the battlefield there. Take my eyes coming your way. Oh, <laughs> 
I knew you'd get that one. Excellent. The way should be clear. Up and onward. Hello again, Kratos! And lest we forget Kratos, lest we neglect to place your deed in full and proper context, I saved your life! Me! And you literally tore off my head for my troubles! Imagine if all your new friends knew how you used to treat your old friends. Of course, you're not the same man, right? Now, you only get your friends killed through lack of foresight. Far easier to blame others that way, am I right? I know who you are, the projection of the mind. But for what it is worth, the death I gave you was unjust. Oh, how touching. Yeah, not actually worth the spittle it took to mumble that out. Do not do that again. No one wants to hear that from you. <clears throat> A little something to remember by. I truly hope it brings you unrelenting torment. Just a little when they do that, doesn't it? Feels like... judgment.
Decisions, decisions. Every bastard, haven't you? Still a monster, I see.
on the important one. I'm behind you! looking for an edge. Is this a game to you?
Welcome, Kratos. Honor me with another sparring match. I have another cherished weapon from my travels to show you. Ready to see? Defend your your homeland into darkness. I did not intend the land to suffer, but I was indifferent, consumed only by rage and retribution. That is not what I asked. How did it feel, in that moment, your soul given over to darkness, bringing a darkness over everything you could see? It felt... Darkness true. Come. You occur! <laughs> You better get into the light, brother! Be ready! Just a subtle shift in weight. I yield. I yield. Good then.
I don't think you were indifferent, Kratos. I think you were hurt. Deeply hurt. And you handled it unskillfully. Wait, is that you restoring the sun? You took Helios's chariot and put the sun back in the sky, but sacrificed yourself in the process. Yes. I fell to my death and was saved by Helios. But this memory happened before I killed him. My evils were yet to come. What is the point? That your legacy has always been a complicated one. That goodness is not a destination we arrive at, but a practice. Misfortune may drive anyone to darkness. We resist it only through wisdom and vigilance. You are not so unskillful now as you were then. Better voices in your head, you might call it. I think that's enough for now. You have much to contemplate. Yes. Back to the beach then. You should be proud of your progress, Kratos. See you soon. Oh. 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 It seems like you're making progress, whatever you're doing in there. Perhaps. Listen, I... ...know I made you feel like we expected more of you than you could give. And I just want you to know... ...I'm not asking you to change how you are or who you are. We had to break the old world to build a new one. Picking up the pieces and putting them together stronger... ...it's a rare opportunity. You made a difference here. In some circles, a symbol of change. On many days, just knowing that you're a part of the Council is enough. And other days? You've earned a voice. How you use it is up to you. Inside, we encountered a son of Thor. It wouldn't really be him in there, I can assure you. You have a memory of a past fight, and I'm sure Valhalla takes advantage. But why him? I don't think that's for me to say. Well, something for us to ponder in between melees. <laughs> to adapt is to be into the alchemy of turning adversity into advantage. Fresh rewards with a side of new opportunities. to know Valhalla wants to help.
A substitute daughter. A box full of evils. This one feels important. This is your blacksmith's story, isn't it? His girl was the key. And he died protecting her? Protecting her from me. I opened that box seeking the means to kill Ares. And what I released. Pretty much turned all the gods crazy. Thanks again for that. Quiet, Ed. Unfortunate. The time I spend in my own Valhalla means you get more time with him. Kratos, how well do you know the blacksmith's daughter? Pandora. She reminded me of my own daughter, who I lost long ago. I'm sorry, Kratos. Even at your most vengeful, you must not have wanted to see harm come to her. Pandora was innocent. The way she saw things, she could reach me when few could. She deserved better than to be a pawn, sacrificed in the game of gods. Your regret is palpable. But thank you for letting yourself remember. That is important. little corner of Valhalla, isn't it? Shall we see what else we can find in here? <gasps> Careful, who knows what's waiting for you in that mess? <laughs> meant to choose one chest or the other. <clears throat> Shall we have a look? As though I seek to lead, as if I were someone to be followed. Your self criticisms, valid and otherwise, seem well reflected here in Valhalla. It's no accident that your mind manifested that throne. It's more than a symbol, it's a challenge to revisit your assumptions. Mimir is right. You have the power, and I think the wisdom, to redefine what it means to you. 
To assert that power is to prove to yourself that the chair doesn't change you. It doesn't make you a new person. Not that you know who you are and why you serve. <laughs> Wanting her to have someone who can be everything to her. She deserves the best. Then why should she not deserve the smartest man alive? Sometimes I think you've come too far, brother. Did I overstep? No, no, Kratos. I appreciate your point. And to be fair, if I was so right, then why am I so angry at myself? Hey, 
Excellent. The way should be clear. Up and onward. You're not done with me yet, Kratos. All your righteous haranguing about how evil the gods are, and you somehow gloss over that little extra nudge you gave them. Opening the box was Athena's plan. I did not know the consequences. You would claim ignorance of the consequences of trusting Athena? Is that your idea of a joke, Kratos? Because I admit it's hilarious. But let's be real, Kratos. Whether you should have suspected the consequences or not, you certainly can't claim that you would have cared about them. You wanted the power to kill Ares. And because you wanted it, everything is justified. That's your moral code at the end of the day, isn't it? To imagine... You, once again, holding an office of solemn metaphysical responsibility. A trusted figure. A worshipped figure. The absolute gall of you to let yourself consider such a thing. Like this irony can have you when it earns you something. I don't think you can be trusted to keep that safe at all. Thank you. 
this ever? Sento! I don't usually get this close. Break the tether quickly. Incoming charge. Kratos was here. Need to kill the really powerful one. Just guessing.
Can you think? What a thrill. just got harder. Did you forget that haste is a factor here? Ah! Uh. 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 
defeat her! Right side, sniper attack! <laughs> in this desert. Just a bunch of kill-thirsty reprobates you can't seem to get out of your mind. behind you. That should be enough slaughter to earn your way up. Take your sweet, sweet time.
again. Still not used to that. Kratos, you made it back. Good. I have one last weapon to show you. I think you'll enjoy it, if that's the word. Focus, Kratos! Defend yourself! Yeah! 
up a reputation. Don't get distracted. <laughs> I think you're just intimidated by his height. Back to it. Valhalla has an offering. Air. You've earned this. Valhalla knows the efforts you've made. I'd like to tell you a story that I think will help you along your path. I am listening. Oh, my father can't but visit. I, I tried to dig in. That's a good place to stop for now. When you're further along on your journey, I'll share the next part of my story. Hmm. Passion, practice, perseverance. That is the way. It's never been easier to be better. Seems Tyr hasn't lost his edge, but I know in my heart you are the stronger one. Sigrun, how fair are you and your sisters? With just the three of us to attend to the Fallen now, but we... Well, I have... You mean Throot, Sif and Thor's daughter? <laughs> Believe me, I know. She sought us out. Mm. A recommendation. Is that a key? One from my past. Did it unlock something important? Only a memory. Seems Valhalla thinks you have a story to tell. Later.
Greetings, friends. Any questions before you get started? I was wondering, actually. Did Odin ever try his hand at Valhalla? Of course. He explored it very thoroughly in seeking to gain control of the Valkyries. But in the end, he found nothing here he could use. You see... Pardon me Odin for breaking Hall. in, friend. But we're advancing now. No need to apologize. <laughs> sons. Do you tell? Like Atreus. They were children of a destroyer. Had I not changed, had I raised him as I was raised, subject only to authority, perhaps his fate would have been no better than theirs. So, they reflect a bad road not taken? A fate avoided? Perhaps. I also feel pity. Failed by their father, sent to die by their uncle, and belittled in death by their grandfather. Not to interrupt, but. <laughs> <laughs> Targets on the battlefield there. Oh! 
counting, Valhalla. Then, time to ascend to the next area. If you're ready. Kratos, the key you found. Whose was it? What did it unlock? It belonged to a boat captain I met during a battle on the Aegean Sea. His ship was part of a fleet under attack by a Hydra. The key unlocked his quarters, where I heard women screaming for help. Ah, yes. The story of your fight with the three-headed sea serpent. You impaled one of its heads on the ship's mast, was it? Yes. But that battle is not why this key appeared. It is my killing of the boat captain for it. it seems Sorry, brother, me. but maybe we reserve our talks for safe spaces. I'm back to brighten your day. Let's 
this effort. Watch from underneath! Crossfire behind you! Oh. Yes, pick something and let's go.
of target Valhalla's mark. Incoming die! a choice regarding your fate must be nice.
Ah, the end of another gauntlet. Boom, hook 
Jason! The On last one's not going! Be ready! Arms off! Outstanding technique! Stop, Kratos. I yield. Mm. Hard fought. Let's see what your mind has worked out. When the evils of the box were purged, what remained was hope, which you chose to release back to the world. Yes. After everything, you came back full circle to sacrificing yourself. My death would have been just, but it was not to be. Yes, you lived, and hope still lived inside you from that day to this one. One might say you brought hope back to these realms after a long slumber. Box or no box, Kratos. Hope and fear and love and hate exist in every one of us. The question is, which will you choose to let guide your actions? Each choice we make shapes our world. Mm. I see the truth of it. And? I believe. I am ready to walk through that door. Excellent. I say to you, I remember how it felt to take that throne, all that it meant, and all that it did not. A god of war, god of pain, of suffering, of destruction. And no one said I. Chase redemption that I know I can never deserve. But what does that make me? God of fools. A god of. is lost. You lost everything and everyone. You became there is no forgiving you. You chose Should I this same man? Should I sit, take, proclaim, lead, place myself in service?
service. Or should I lose everything and everyone? There's to be enough of this side so that I do not become you. I do not know. But I have hope. I missed everything. Did you find what you needed? Hmm. Glad to hear it, brother. Well done here, then. So, uh, what now? No.
Well done, General. I had no doubt you would see this through to the end. Congratulations. I hope Valhalla gave you everything you needed. Look who's returning from the front gate for once. Something must have happened in there. I take it this is a Rhea, good sign. I will join you. I will try to be what the people need. Good. I'm very pleased to hear that. And that you found what you needed here. I could not have done so without my friends. I am grateful. Valhalla is at your disposal, Kratos. If you have more you wish to work out, now or later, we will heed the call. I'll tell you more of my story now, if you care to hear it. <laughs> 